It's yeah. interesting, man. I'm excited for the like, combination with psychedelics and sure mind improvement. Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, that's a whole new world too, right? See, so the cool thing about psychedelics is you add fuel to all this fire that already exists, right? You have, you know, you have the the meditation, you have the movement, you have the journaling, you have the really smart people that you that that we have access to, um, and then you add psychedelics to that. You get some magic right there because you already have a strong base. The fundamentals are strong. Mm -hmm. Your ability to interface with life in a way that allows you to learn and grow on a daily and weekly basis is significant. Right? Your ability to your your to navigate life is strong. And then you have things like psychedelics that allow you to inject awareness into your life at a rate that was previously not possible you know what they do is they they improve the rate at which you can inject consciousness into yourself that's powerful because through all of these 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 habits and through the through connections with good therapists good coaches etc you can stabilize the consciousness right you can inject this consciousness into yourself you know metaphorically obviously and and then you can start to allow that consciousness to settle into your day-to-day -day life. So you can bring that love and that care and that attention and that drive to your work, to your friends, to your family, to your relationships. That's a powerful thing. Because to me, I think psychedelics obviously are in the last year or two have become quite popular, quite popular. And I see the indiscriminate use of this shit a lot, man. It's annoying. And it's concerning because these are powerful things that cannot be used indiscriminately. Uh, hopefully, we'll see in the next couple of years legalization of release the mushrooms. Exactly. Psilocybin. Exactly. That'd be nice. Um, but something that gets often not talked about is the integration piece. Correct. All right. And the integration is super important to life. Forget psychedelics for a second. Like, what is an integration skill set? The integration skill set basically is the ability to to learn something like get an insight and to be able to apply it in life such that you've learned from it so let's say you get into an automobile accident because you ran a red light okay uh, a very basic example of integration is learn what happened there you know were you drinking were you driving what what how what caused you to 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 move past the red light, did you not look both ways? Did you not clearly realize there was a red light there? What happened? And the ability to 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 apply that, okay, I didn't look, or maybe I was drinking, maybe whatever, whatever the person has done, the person starts to apply. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna do this in the future. Basically, that skill set amplified and refined is what you need. So let's say every conversation you have is a conversation that you can learn about yourself, the other person, and slowly, even just a slight layer of refinement to the next time you interact with them or the next time you interact with someone else. It, it is a growth mindset. It is the ability to pull information from the outside and allow yourself to refine every interaction, every iteration of what you're doing. Taking that to psychedelics can be powerful because now you have such a strong injection influx of consciousness you're like wow this is cool you learn a shit ton about yourself and the universe at large and then you write that down and then you go okay how does this change my life and then you start to list it all out and you'll start to list it of the actions that you need to take as a result of this experience bam and that fundamentally changes you in a way you would never have been able to change yourself because this access is a powerful thing so that that's what i'm i'm excited for Obviously, the the, the 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 economy and the and, and that side of things is also quite interesting. The the investing um, around some of these startups is interesting. The the ecosystem in Canada is really cool, man. Um, it's growing because we have, we have we have a few friends in the industry as well. And it's great to see the work they do. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm just gonna. My hopes is legalization. Well, my hopes is all drugs are legalized. Yeah, sure, sure, controlled, but re legalized. It's safer. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, because because I would I would not want them over the counter, man. Um, well, listen, 
even over the counter stuff like Advil and aspirin is dangerous. Absolutely. Overuse. Absolutely. Um, my general philosophy is eliminate the black market, hmm. legalize old drugs, make sure people want it. They have the most purest, cleanest form. And uh, another form, even though I'm against taxes, another form of tax revenue for the government. That's fair. Uh, you can look at Portugal. You know, Portugal decriminalized most drugs, mm -hmm. and their statistics are good for people less time in jail, yeah, uh, less addicts, um, and also a better educational curve as well. Um, it's just safer. Like yeah, for sure. you're not going to stop people from doing what they want to do. Exactly. Give yeah. them the best and safe, safest option as yeah. possible. And you eliminate the black market, which is which is huge for a lot of reasons. Also, you, you eliminate the impurities and and the, just the lack of great material that people have access to because that causes a lot of debts and ODs and this and it's that. Still, it's still, you know, off tangent, it still befuddles me that prostitution is illegal. <laughs> I didn't know this. <laughs> yes. Okay. Especially when you take into the statistics of sex trafficking, oh, yeah. abduction, oh, man. and you're telling me you're not legalizing yeah. it legalize it no. No, streamline it no. fucking remove like no. i think people really understand me how fucked up like how bad like the numbers of sex trafficking there is no. it's like no joke it's obscene yeah um and one of the biggest markets for that is the illegal black market of yeah. prostitution oh yeah oh yeah yeah no there's a lot of stuff in the world that befuddles me man <laughs> a lot of stuff <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the world we live in and uh well that's why we change it day by day exactly exactly you know, we learn to embrace we, it we learn to see what you can change well we'll end this podcast which how we started the podcast is i can't change the world but i can change myself exactly exactly yeah one person at a time yeah it's the best we can do yeah man so we've covered a lot we have thank you for sharing all this a pleasure man um guys um make sure you take don't take don't just passively listen to this you know, just like any good podcast or audible or book, re-listen to parts that resonate with you. You know, I'm a firm believer in any form of any medium of knowledge that you take in, you view it as any relationship. It's not just transactional. It's multi multifactorial. You know, one, one book that I always recommend people to pick up is how to read a book by Mortimer Adler, you know, meta analysis or meta reading. And today's time, meta reading isn't just reading, is absorbing information through podcasting like this or through YouTube. And so people assume they have to sit through A to Z. They don't. Find a section that you like and don't just listen to it. Like if you enjoyed what UJ was talking about, first principles or meditation, take that section out and actually make a checklist for yourself. You know, what are action steps from here? Okay, I'm going to go read Ray Dalio's First Principle or read uh, you know, How to Think Clearly by Rolf or et cetera and actually make a roadmap of actionable steps that you can take after this. I think, you know, we touched on this, it's seldom that people do follow up process in one ear, out the other ear. So less is more. That's all I'm saying. Less is more. Yeah, I also recommend just pulling out a, a journal and a pen and paper and just like, Asking yourself the questions that matter. Yes. Right? You know, start with how am I feeling right now and why? And then start your start start to write about the thing that is on your mind. We're all dealing with something. Right? We all are. And put it on paper. Yes. And ask yourself the questions. You know, what's going on? What do I know for a fact? What am I struggling with? How do I move through that? And, and what do you learn from this podcast, right? And put it all down because as if you do, the chances of your follow through are gonna be higher because it's hard to sit down with something, write something, have it stare you in the face, not do too much about it. UJ, it's always a pleasure when you come on. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. If people are looking to find more information about you, what's the best resource? The best way is find me on Instagram. Okay. Find me on my website, subscribe. What's the Instagram handle? Uh, UJ Ramdas. Okay. Twitter or anything? Awesome. Facebook, Twitter, or just Instagram? Just Insta. Okay. Yeah. UJ ran the ram this on Instagram. And guys, if you're listening to this on iTunes or Google or wherever else, please make sure to leave a review. Those always help. And if you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment below. I check all the comments on a daily basis. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Till then, guys, this was another episode of Amir Approved, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.